Welcome to Mike's Pool in Garden Grove, Santa Ana. Easily the longest running permission pool in Orange County skateboarding history. This is the original basic bowl. This was also the KNAC bowl back in the 90s. Uh, Greg Basic rented a room there apparently in that era before he bought all that real estate down there in Huntington and um, this pool has seen hundreds if not thousands of sessions over the years there's been more parties and live bands and art shows and jam sessions than probably all the places in SoCal combined um, this place was running you know 20 years before everyone else that gentleman sitting in the deep end is Tom Seehusen, artist, illustrator, father, homeowner. Uh, Mike is on the right side. Not quite sure who that is in the middle, but that's also my childhood buddy Sean Farron on the left. Kid I met back in my freshman year of high school at Brea Olinda. Uh, Mike, I met him when I was 19 years old skateboarding at the now defunct sign-in bowl in Anaheim which I'll do another video I think that's next on the queue of places to discuss classic Southern California pools but this one in particular had the longest history had the most sessions was easily the most skatable had the most oververt had the biggest bowl, the biggest half pipe, the fastest rolling. This pool more or less had it all. A true Blue Haven, probably a late 60s, early 70s example, judging by the transitions and um, the amount of oververt. But this bowl was easily the biggest backyard actual bowl like big round bowl in orange county and uh right now it sits underneath a couple feet of more than likely lawn i saw it when they jackhammer the top of it out top two feet of it and uh, it's like a perfect mini ramp just sitting there waiting to get skated so whoever's lucky enough to end up with that property either now or some point in the future we'll have a have a gift from the skate gods in their backyard anyhow at this time you're looking at mid to late 90s there wasn't a whole lot of pools going but this was one that was that doesn't sound confusing enough there was a period when Mike's pool the Champion Bowl in Inglewood, the Sign-In Bowl in Anaheim, and the Jungle Bowl up in the Whittier, the Hacienda Heights area. That's, uh, we're all happening at the same time. So this would be a place that I'd be bouncing back and forth between. You know, it'd be Mike's Pool, Jungle Bowl, Champion. That's how I met all the guys from South Bay, and that's how they all ended up down here and eventually later on in the Badlands. Um, this pool was uh, about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes from Fullerton College. So I used to cruise in there uh, after class. I'd spend like the last 15, 20 minutes before sunset just skating by myself when Mike was a... Uh, in the military away on uh he was in the navy playing guitar on some ship somewhere anyhow um yeah man this pool has probably the deepest history for the pole skateboarding scene in orange county california without a doubt and uh, everyone who was anyone skated this at least once. Most were too scared to come back because it was a pretty gnarly pull. Not easy to get any kind of lip tricks on. Not easy to hit the lip period. But 
you know it's a solid skate spot one of the best at the time and it's a bummer that this place no longer exists well actually it does exist it's just functionally unskatable because it sits under like two feet of dirt but it's still there if you know where it is and if you know the homeowners or if you become the homeowner some point in the future the best now it's a mini ramp bowl it sits there underneath a couple feet of dirt just waiting to be unearthed other than that hope you enjoy this this uh rewind to mike's pool one of the most legendary spots in the history of orange county it's modern pool skateboarding era north orange county to be specific and um have a good day.